Good morning. Welcome to our worship service this morning. And thanks be to God for the beauty of this day. We rejoice at seeing such days and celebrate the colors of early fall. Let us take in the splendor around us and spread to those we meet just as we pass God's love to all. And we have announcements that we need to have brought before us. All right, there are announcements on your order of service. Um, take some time, look them over. There are important things to, uh, to take note of. Um, <clears throat> I'd like to note that November 5th will be our Remembrance Sunday and also Communion. And the worship team is asking for your participation in uh, the Remembrance Sunday, uh, asking you to uh, fill out Remembrance cards so we have uh, the names, but also if you wish to bring an object that reminds you of a person you want remembered. They will be placed on the altar and will be honored during the worship service. And there'll be more information and reminders to come. Um, anything else that, that we should bring up this morning? All right. <clears throat> Then if you will join me in the call to worship as we read responsively. Come, now is the time to worship. We come to worship God who guides us. After delivering the Israelites out of bondage, God continued to guide them, giving them commandments to shape and form their life with God and one another. God guides us as we learn to pattern our lives after the rhythms of God's grace. Jesus tells a story of a vineyard owner and his tenants who choose violence instead of giving the owner the fruits of the harvest. Challenging us to choose, will we reject the cornerstone or find in Jesus our sure foundation? God guides us as we learn to pattern our lives after the rhythm of God's grace. Too often, we fall back into the pattern of rejecting what is good for us, forgetting that the life of faith is always about following God who prepares us and loves us. God's guidance, we learn to look at God's new pattern of life described in the commandments and demonstrated by Christ. Come, now is the time to worship. We come to worship God who guides us for the long haul. Let's join together in our first hymn, number 272, The Church's One Foundation. It is one foundation, is Jesus Christ our Lord, we are His new creation, by water and the Word, from heaven He came and sought us to
Our scripture this morning will be read by Robin Everett. Hello. This morning's scripture is Exodus 20, verses 1 through 4, 7 through 9, and 12 through 20. And God spoke all these words, saying, I, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days thou shalt labor and do all thy work. Honor thy father and thy mother that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God hath given thee. Thus end the reading of the word. And now Denise will come up and share her thoughts on covenants this morning. Good morning. Over the past weeks, we've been talking about covenants. We've heard a lot about them when Moses was leading the Israelites out of Egypt, as God had commanded. He went up on Mount Sinai, where God gave him a tablet on which he had written the Ten Commandments, and where God made his covenant with Moses and the Israelites. So, what's the definition of a covenant? According to dictionary.com, a covenant is literally a contract, a two-way promise. God promises us certain blessings in return for our keeping the terms we accepted when we, when we made the covenant with him. When this church in Williamsburg was established on July 3rd, 1771, 21 people came together and pledged themselves to God and to each other. These people wrote that they devoted themselves to the service of God forever. And they took the scriptures of the Old and New Testaments as the only rule of faith and practice. They pledged to watch over their brethren and to be watched over by them, and to promote the spiritual good of the church and to perform the offices of Christian love and duty to one another and to walk orderly towards those who are without and that their good works be glorified, be made to glorify the Father in heaven. Things, I think we pretty much have kept the covenant with God and with each other. And over the years, church members have renewed their covenant with God. They've refined their behavioral co covenant with each other. This practice helps all parties to the contract to name the elements that they feel are important. And it also helps to remind the participants of the rules and expectations as members of this church. And now, as part of our work deciding on the path of the future for our church, we're updating our behavioral covenant. Linda West will now speak on this task. So what's really interesting is that our covenant really hasn't changed in the last 250 plus years. 
But the last time that we looked at our covenant was about 21 years ago. We did a program back in the fall of 2002 to renew our covenant with God and each other. And we did a program called Walking in the Way. And now we're at that point again to look at our covenant with each other and with God and step it up a bit into modern day language. So we now have another coach, uh, Reverend Quentin, who was back here um, about a month ago, and he's given us some suggestions to help us move forward because we need to have a basis, a covenant, to um, how, how we want to be with God and with each other for us to bring on the future of our church. So this morning, when you go down to chat and coffee, we have taken the statements, which are actually very much like the list of words that we had developed back in 2002, and put them into statements of how we personally, each person, will take that on, and it's related to a scripture. So the scripture is there. So on the uh, boards downstairs, there are seven boards with um, statements and scripture, and we are asking folks, we will give you dots, and we want you to ch choose your three top priorities, because from the priorities, we will develop our statements, and then we'll, we'll come back together and reaffirm that. So we have a lot of plans going forward to keep this covenant alive, and it will be pretty exciting in um, some of the worships that we do, because that's one of the things that we haven't done, is um, we do a covenant, and then we um, put it in the archives. And Daria keeps it there for us to pull out in another 20 years. So um, today, when we go downstairs, um, we would love, even if you're not staying for chat and coffee, take a dot and um, choose your um, priorities. So our next hymn that we chose, uh, again, for the uh, words mostly, Jesus calls us over the tumult, because we know during the next weeks and months, um, we will have more tumult <laughs> um, as we uh, discern the, the strengths and um, direction of our church. So I'm going to um, go down and give some notes for this one so my um, fellow musicians can uh, do some harmony. Thank you. 
And then we <clears throat> offer a prayer that we will read in unison. And we begin with <clears throat> loving and gracious God. You are so patient with us. We run away and you seek us. We make foolish choices and you teach us the better way. We hurt you and others. And instead of hurting us back, you forgive us. Help us, we pray. Help us reveal your glory and goodness in our living, that we will bear the imprint of Christ throughout the world. Amen. And now we will recite the prayer that our Savior has taught us. And we begin, <clears throat> Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. And our <clears throat> benediction will be by Daria Darienzo. Good morning. This is our blessing as we leave the church. Go forth today as a people who bear the fruit of the kingdom, that in living a life patterned after God's grace, you may share the hope, joy, and love you receive from God with your neighbors wherever you go. Amen. And our benediction response is the hymn number 557, just a closer walk with thee, 557. Five,